body in such a manner. I'm a temple follower. All right. I'm, <laughs> I'm about to Bye. <laughs> I heard like none of that. The Miscellaneous Podcast is the best show you can watch on any kind of platform ever invented. We got Twitch TV, but we never use it. But I hear you have Twitch TV? I, my lord, I have Twitch TV. My name is JerokCog89. Come and find me for an adventure of medieval warfare. That's right, you bastards. Come on, then. Come get a taste. All right, the rest of you, go take care of those crossbows. I'm not fucking with that. All right. Oh, you're one of mine. Jerock Cog 89. Mountain Blade Warband. Pick a boot, bitch. You boys, hang tight. I'll make my way up. Take care of what I can down here. Start saying things the way Texans say it, like Illinois. <laughs> Illinois. I mean, Illinois. I've been here for 15 years. It should be, you know. I'm, 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 I'm Texans. Everything's big. No big. That's why I moved here. I heard everything was bigger. Cupcake, you're our girl. That's why we take good care of you. Marijuana. Marijuana. The reefer. Let's go get our fix. Will Wiggler says, when the time is right, the meat Twinkie will be revealed. Did you watch that R. Kelly documentary? I didn't. Oh, don't. I didn't. Dude, because, like, I like to stick my key and put it into somebody's ignition, but not after I watch that documentary. It's one of the songs. Oh, Oh, that's a song. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) I mean, I like to take my key and put it in somebody's ignition. (laughs) Give it like a quick turn. Toot, toot. Let me get that beep beep. Running my hands through my Oh, running my hands through my crowd. Yeah. yeah. That's one of the lines. I'm about to take my key and stick it in the ignition. Dear God. Yeah, but dude. Yeah. Rough documentary. Makes you not want to put your key in somebody's ignition. Nope. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. Thanks for bringing it back around. Oh, <laughs> uh, what else? Gotta see, see if the engine stalls. <laughs> so what? Uh, Speeding down the street, reaching for my phone, about to have a fit. I'm calling the one dude who can help me out of this mess. Ring. Come on, snot, I need you to pick up the damn phone right now. And the next part's so jacked up that it hurts. The dude that picked up wasn't snot, it was mine. On Sunday, March 10th, Cupcake Creations will be at the Toy Man Toy Show in St. Louis. That's our very own Cupcake! So head on over there and show her some support. It's going to be at the Machinist Hall, which is 12365 St. Charles Rock Road in Bridgeton, Missouri. Here's the zip code, just in case you need it, 63044. So that's Cupcake Creations, our very own Cupcake, at the Toy Man Toy Show in St. Louis, uh, in Bridgeton, Missouri, of St. Charles Rock Road, Sunday, uh, March 10th. Thank you! Good, Polly. Make me feel good. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh yeah. God, stop. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Why did that sound like bra- Macho Man Randy Savage? You're snapping into a Slim Jim, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, brother. Because his cream arises to the top. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I still got more cream. <laughs> What you gonna do when Hulkamania and these 24-inch pythons run wild on you? I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you can do the ultimate warrior and you just sit there and mumble nonsensical words. <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> like, okay, that was the ultimate warrior. Thanks, Mean Gene. 
Mean Gene's dead. Did you know Mean Gene was from Belleville? No. I thought he lived in yeah. Florida. Oh, he's from Belleville. He's wow. from Belle Vegas. Belleville, Illinois. Wow. Yeah. Hi, Cupcake. I say hi to Cupcake. Hi, Cupcake. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Cupcake. <laughs> I forgot to post these, some of these pictures up here. Um, how would you like to get it? How would you y'all like to see what Josh looks like when I went down and visited him? Oh. <laughs> I would love to. Now, mind you, this is when I went down to visit him in Texas over the holiday week, holiday month. You know, it was mm-hmm. fun. Yes, right, right. There's one. Oh, I love it. Do they still make tap, or is that a collector's item? No, they still make it. To say, I dare you to drink that if that's been expired for a couple. In of Texas, years. they went back to 1985 and made tab. And it's even bigger than it was then. Yes. Um, oh, here's one at his house. It's really cool. Um, I'm going to show you the, the game he got for Christmas, which is really cool, too. But here we go. This is him in his house. Is that a rideable dinosaur <laughs> behind him? It is. A, it was a rideable dinosaur. What aisle is this in? This is wonderful. Well, you got to come to Texas. Hey, you get Tab or a rideable dinosaur. I mean, it's a dinosaur. They're both in the same place. It looks like it. Check this game out. I'm this zooming really in. Cool. Zooming in. Feed me, brush me, walk me, dance with me. How fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's my arcade. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that rhino. That is cool. No, it's a donkey. What is that? It's an yeah. ass. It's a horse. It's a dog horse. Round one. Scorpion wins. Fatality. <laughs> it is Mortal Kombat. I got a... Toasty! Uh, I got a... Uh, an arcade it's got like 8500 games so you got cowboys and mesa <laughs> <laughs> is that a game <laughs> oh, it, actually, it actually is actually uh, that's outside you, you gotta play the um the hootie guy the, the the latest show with the cows of mamusa and find the wrong with right up on the mesa up on the mesa that was Frogger, yeah. Let me see. I think this is I think this is about it. Oh, here's one Dream with uh, his his rat. I have rats. Yeah, brat. Stars at night. Yeah, there's a blue hooded and, and, uh, and a naked rat. He has dogs, too. Dags. Dags. Gotta love like dags. dags. Yeah. Put Got the gold squeaky gold chair. Gold oh, here we go. Here's one of his rats. Match. So, yeah, there's Josh. If you want to know what Josh looks like, just check out the pictures. Love it. Look at that pretty little thing. Yeah, that's that's um, Snakebait. That's his name, or that's, that's what his he is? His name is Snakebait. We bought him from a breeder because uh, a snake tried to eat him twice and oh failed. God. So I was like, <laughs> he's born again hard. Uh, All right, comes up. Ready, guys, Let's or... do this. Leroy Dragons! And this is what happens like... when I leave my phone in the office. The funny gent will just take random pictures of himself. <laughs> all right, so that's the theme. I'm going to go through my phone and pick out all the crap that I've been saving on here and just get it out so I can delete it. I love any, it. Any lewd pictures? I do, but I can't post them. I'm not interested then. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> I told you to because delete Because everyone those. would know who they are. Well... <laughs> Everyone would know. Oh, really? Are. Yeah. <laughs> I know the tattoo. Oh, my God, that birthmark. Well, they come with faces attached to them, so. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but that's not fun. Whoa, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Vin Diesel? <laughs> What's this game? It's Boom, like, that comes someone, up. It's like <laughs> someone splicing a Disney. Oh, you wanted nude pics. Oh, well. That's a good start when we talk about wieners. It's like, <laughs> want to hear some stupid headlines? Yeah. Yes. God. Yes. Oh my word. Anthony Wiener. Anthony Wiener. Released from prison. Anything Not about the that? Wiener. Huh? The Wiener. Anthony Wiener has been released from the federal prison and is serving out the rest of his sentence in a halfway house. Uh, Democratic uh, congressman in New York is. Uh, Doing his 21 months now uh, from sexting uh, minors, so now he's in a halfway house. Jeez. Okay, that's enough of that one. Pictures of his wiener. Yeah. Hey, look, it's Bud Man. It is Bud. Hey, Bud Man. What's up, Josh from Polly? Whoa. 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 
What's going on, buddy? Oh, not a whole lot. Just saying hi, man. What are you up to? About 6'2", six 6'3", six still. Mm. Good. That's good. Thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> All right. Um, did you hear about the Friends creepy thing on the wall? The Friends creepy thing? What? Yeah, so there's uh, an episode of Friends where you see a creepy thing on the wall. Hold on, let me get this all set up here. Is it a there's deck? a thing on Friends where you see a creepy thing on the wall. Mm-hmm. Is that like one of the uh, stagehands that got killed and is in the background mysteriously afterwards? I don't know. I, I wouldn't call it that. So there's an episode which Rachel faces, uh, well, she sees this guy Joshua. And she meets his parents in this house. And uh, it's kind of weird because um, Rachel faces an awkward encounter with her boyfriend, Joshua's parents. Uh, and then there's a creepy moment where you see a pair of red eyes appear to glow in the background before disappearing mere seconds later. Yeah. <coughs> Did the uh, picture come up yet? No, uh, that's a negative goat rider. <laughs> Get pictures to uh, support these facts. And no. There it is. All right, zoom in. I I can't see. Is he growing like a a so head like a men in black like, too? Face thing on the wall, and then all of a sudden it lights up. Now I actually went back and watched this on Netflix just to see. You know, does it really light up? It does, but it looks like it could be a motion sensor or something they'd probably be put in the background just for fun. Is that the head of Zeus? It's the Wishmaster. Make your wishes. Oh no! <laughs> it's the gatekeeper. It's Zool. There is no The force is getting stronger in France. Be. The French Fencing Federation has officially recognized lightsaber dueling as a competitive sport. Have you seen do some you of those to... lightsaber camps? Those things are f- amazing to watch. Do you have to make the noises? Oh, now they're real lightsaber. <clears throat> I'd mess some people up. up. How, how do you duel? I'd participate. The uh, the Federation has given iconic Star Wars weapon the same status as the traditional blades of the foil, the api, and the saber. And competitors can now begin to train just like Luke Skywalker. Sword fight. <laughs> Remember, the Force will be with you. Always. I want to hear about some celebrities that are actually meanies. Yes. Guess what? John Wayne is racist. Did you, did you well, know that? Well, yeah, we kind of knew John Wayne was racist. Yeah. And uh, it started in many, many, many movies. Tell me something movies. we don't know, little sister. <laughs> John Wayne has many people's uh, definition of a man's man. But in 1971, he was quoted as saying, I believe in white supremacy until blacks are educated to the point of responsibility. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's rough. You know, that's right. that's like these, like, internet quotes, like you see people like Einstein, I believe in two things, the infinite, the infinity of the universe and the infinite stupidity of man, and I'm not sure about the universe. You think really, you really think Einstein said that? Yeah, I don't know. You, you have a good point. But this one, do you guys know who Tom Baker is? No. You ever watch Doctor Who? I know who Tom Thumb is. <laughs> let me show up let me throw up a picture oh yeah that guy yep he's a younger him at age 31 he abandoned his wife and his children also trying to kill his mother-in-law to pursue acting and have some more free time <laughs> dear god the american dream <laughs> <laughs> he's like you're not gonna act i'll kill you if you don't let me Jeez. Hey, where's um, Frazzle Dazzle today? Frazzle Dazzle could not make it because he's going to actual a podcast meetup. It's pretty cool. Fuck Frazzly. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> um, Nelson Mandela. I did not know this about him. Died in 18 different realms. Yeah, that too. He's also responsible for over 130 deaths. Did you know that? He belonged to a terrorist splinter group of the African National Congress. He also implemented sabotage, torture, and landlines that work exclusively for this. Whatever. Yeah. I didn't know he was that. That's why he was imprisoned. (laughs) I don't think Nelson Mandela did all that. That was a different different reality. Different Mandela effect. Elvis Presley. It's an alien. The truth is, he was insecure about his skills in the bedroom, and he liked sleeping with young girls around the age of 14 
Virgins Jesus. were apparently the best because they would never know he was bad at his sexual prowess. That makes sense. I mean, if you only bang virgins, they don't have anything to go against. So they're like, it was Ow. great, I guess. That's why they called him the king. It's so big. <laughs> All right, here we go. Abe Lincoln. Man was playing farming simulator. Fluffy tender. <laughs> oh. Abe Lincoln, don't. What are you going to say there? While Abe Lincoln abolished slavery in the United States, most people didn't realize he did it for the political well-being of the nation. During his presidential debate in 1858, he stated that he didn't believe in racial equality, black voting, or interracial marriage. God damn. <laughs> he woke up from his drunken slumber. I freed who? Oh. <laughs> oh, yikes. Wow. All right. Uh, Madonna uh, shown up at a police station after Sean Penn beat the crap out of her with a baseball bat. He was also threatened to shave off all her hair. One day, he tied the pop star to a chair with electric cables and continuously abused her for nine hours. He only stopped when a Ma Madonna agreed to perform sexual acts on him. It's like a dream. But Sean Penn, I thought though, that was normal. Sean that's Penn, though, you could see up. him doing that, though, you know? So that's, that's why weird. she made the prayer. <laughs> Papa, don't preach. <laughs> That's ba that's bizarre that like you would torture someone and like give me a blowjob. No whip whip whip. How about now? No whip whip whip. I'd be afraid she'd now? bite my shit off. I'd be like, oh my god, I just beat this woman. Now I want her to play with my genital reach. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it's Sean Penn. So there you go. There's Britain's greatest for you. I mean Britain I, uh, I well, dare to bite Sean that. Penn's greatest for wow. you. There's Britain. <laughs> It's, it just sounds she does like have that fake accent. <laughs> On behalf of the miscellaneous podcast, I'd like to apologize to all of our English-speaking viewers. And with that said, the segues to how racist Eric Clapton is. It got really quiet. Eric Clapton? <laughs> hey, how can he be racist? Uh, during a gig in 1976, Eric Clapton has more than been a bit drunk, and like all drunks, uh, spoke too much of his own mind. In a rant, he appealed to the crowds to keep all the blacks out of the country so that England does not have to become a black country. Then proceeded to scream the slogan, Keep Britain White. These brutal tactics must stop. Britain prevails. <laughs> Long live the Queen. These colonials are our brothers. We will treat remember, them. Remember, remember, the 5th of November. Oh, is there a sale? <laughs> it's a fire! <laughs> fail! <laughs> you each get an Adelie Portman. <laughs> this, hey, who would get on a boat with Creepy Chris for walking? Natalie would. would? <laughs> I was like, oh. Did you, did you hear about that, Jarrah? No, what happened? Back in the 70s, there was a, uh, a star... This is around Deer Hunter time frame, I think, named Natalie uh -huh, Wood. Uh -huh. And she was a big pretty girl and all this other stuff. Oh, so, yeah, Natalie Wood. <laughs> and, West Side Story. Okay, yeah. I think. And she, there was rumors that he was uh, messing around with her, Christopher Walken, and she had an affair with him. And she's married. So what happens? This is Hollywood for you. The husband of Natalie Wood decides, hey, we should all go out in a boat together, me, Natalie Wood, and creepy Christopher Walken, to talk this all out. The next day, the boat comes in, and just it's the two guys, and Natalie drowns somewhere out in the ocean. Oh, that's sad. When asked, like, why didn't you go out and save her? Christopher Walken goes, I only dog paddle. Your God. Well, you know, it's my paddle. boat, but, you know, I can't swim. Yeah. <laughs> There's a dog battle, you know. Uh. And it's funny because uh, most reporters, when they ask him about it, he just says, we're not, we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> you know, I like the wombat because, you know, it's the wombat. We should do a, uh, a show about weird come-ons from from movies with Christopher Walken in Like hit-on thing? Like, for, like I, I know, I, you need a for example, I see. Yes. <laughs> like the, like the continents in my ass. Okay, what like, oh, was that well, again? Like, Everybody's like all exchange. talking at once. I said, like the Continental on SNL. Well, no, it was... When he got it on with Grace Jones. No, there was an exchange in um, Suicide Kings when uh, Christopher Walken walks in and the lady, one of the ladies, she looks in, she goes, well, it's all wet outside. He goes, it's raining. She goes, well, it's warm and dry in here. Well, it's warm anyway. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, you say, creepy uh, Chris for walking, come on. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for listening to this show. I love doing this thing, and I want to keep doing this. So please give us some likes on Facebook. Give us some five-star reviews on iTunes. We're on YouTube, Google. We're just about anywhere. Spotify, that will just help keep this going. And another way to help out is we have Patreon. And when you want to help out the show, you're going to get extra stuff. We will be offering extra content that you wouldn't hear on the actual show, such as bloopers, outtakes, which are the same thing, and arguments. Yes, everybody loves a little lover's quarrel. So please help us get this show further along. I just, I like doing it, and I want to keep doing it. Thank you so much. <laughs>